Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Salem. And tonight our question comes to us from Serenity03, who asked my view of the status and role of homosexuality and bisexuality in pagan religion. And, um, of course, this is not a simple question because when we use a phrase like pagan religion, we're talking about a number of different religions. So I really kind of have to speak to my own. Uh, and as a Corellian Wiccan, I will speak to Corellian Wicca and to anything similar to it. Uh, and our attitude is that spirit and gender are two very different things, and that gender is a matter of the body, not of the spirit. Therefore, um, all issues of gender are in, in essence transitory. The essence of spirit is enduring, and that our spirits, our souls, are reborn in many different bodies of both sexes and probably all sexual orientations, and that these things are basically just individual matters. And we therefore would regard that um, as long as we're talking about consenting adults, all sexual orientations are good and all acts of love and pleasure are her worship, as they say. Now, having said that, Serenity continues by pointing out that she has found the pagan community to be by and large accepting of uh, gender differences and sexual orientations of many sorts, but that you don't see this played out in ritual and symbolism. And this is certainly very often true, and she asks how we might see more diversity in these areas. And uh, the first part of this, I want to say that it certainly is true that very often you don't see a lot of diversity uh, in ritual structure and symbolism within the community. Uh, however, I don't think there is any reason why we shouldn't. And I personally would like to see perhaps more diversity in expression. And I would point out that when we speak of goddess and god, what we're truly speaking of is yin and yang. And that this has nothing to do with gender whatsoever. However, we use gender on occasion as a means of expressing it. And that there are many other kinds of symbolism that can express it as well. Um, so, you can have goddess and god or you can have two goddesses, or you can have two gods embodying these polar energies perfectly well. And I certainly have been to temples and have seen traditions where this is the case. Uh, and I think that it would be good to have probably greater diversity in the way we portray deity. I also would point out that the, the image of the androgynous deity is, in my opinion, very important in pagan thought, both as the origin and destination of existence. The unity of all things, and the unity of all things, again, transcends all considerations of gender and all considerations of the moment. Uh, now, how can we see greater diversity? Well, there's only one way to see greater diversity, and that's to be diverse. Uh, if you want to see ritual structure that is more inclusive of different uh, orientations, then you probably should hold some rituals that are more inclusive of different orientations. Uh, or, if you attend a temple, uh, or an event where rituals are going on, you might bring the subject up for discussion. But again, as I've said in other vlogs, we must be the change we want to see. Uh, I think personally, when I think of goddess and god, I don't necessarily think of them in terms that are purely gender-based. As I say, I think of them ultimately as polar powers, and I believe they can be represented in any number of different ways, and certainly the way that ritual is conducted, in my opinion, is something that can be very fluid and plastic. So, those are my thoughts, and uh, as I say, we must be the changes that we want to see in the world, because they're not going to happen if we don't make them. So if you want to see greater diversity, by all means, manifest greater diversity through your own actions, and uh, I personally think that greater diversity in our symbolism and our ritual structure is certainly always a good thing. So, those are my opinions on that subject, and until next time, may you blessed be. But wait, don't forget our books, Witch School First, Second, and Third Degree, and also Living the Wicked Life, and Ritual in Theory and Practice, available at a bookstore near you, or get them direct from us at www.witchschoolstore.com.